Hi everybody, Paul Soros Jr. here. Today is December 8th, 2011, and I just wanted to give you a quick heads up about a program called PlayClaw, which is free for one day, just today. And what PlayClaw is, is a screen recording program very much like Fraps, if you've ever heard of that. A lot of people use Fraps to record gameplay. I do, although I used to use PlayClaw. And right now it is free at giveawaytheday.com, and I will put this link in the description of the video. Um, essentially, you run this program, you play your game, and you can record the game. It'll also record your audio if you have a, a mic. And uh, it's usually, I think it's 29 bucks, but today it's free. And you've got about 17 hours right here and 33 minutes to get over here and download it. I Again, I used to use PlayClaw, but then I uh, eventually switched to Fraps because there was a bug in PlayClaw at one point. And... Um, the bug hadn't been fixed for a while, so I ended up switching to Fraps, and I haven't gone back. But I may, uh, I may give this another try. I really liked PlayClaw a lot. I think the audio on PlayClaw is better than Fraps, um, so I'm going to give it a shot. Anyway, so head on over to this website. It runs on Windows XP 2003, Vista 7, and even 64-bit. Um, now, you want to use this link right here to download it, okay? So this is going to put a little zip file on your computer and I've already downloaded it. Let me show you. So it's playclaw.zip. This is the downloaded file. It's only a few megs. You want to unzip. Open up that folder and run this setup executable. That'll install the program on your computer. And then the readme file here includes your registration key right there. So copy and paste that. And I'm going to do that right now. Run playclaw. So here it is, and it should be an unregistered version. I click Activate, paste in that activation code. Click on the activation key, and thank you for registration. Now, I uh, again, I have not used this in a while, but let's take a look here. Let's just take a look at some of the settings. They don't look like they've changed much. So this is um, where your output goes. So as you're recording, the files will be generated and stored here low compression full size okay that seems to be the same if you have a multi-core processor you can choose your cores capture cursor yes I think that was one of the bugs I had in fact that was why I stopped using it it was not capturing my cursor so I'll have to give that a shot headphones USB audio device uh, my microphone is this that I'm using right now my AT2020 you can capture when a hotkey is pressed. Um, you just want it to capture all the time. In most cases, multi-channel audio is a good idea if your system supports it. I uh, don't need that. Overlays puts a little, um, like the frames per second on the screen so you can see how fast your computer is capturing or running. Benchmarks I don't mess with. You can also do screenshots. Now this is the hotkey, by the way, so when you're actually running the recording program, you have to hit a hotkey to, to do this. So you hit print screen and it'll save a screenshot in that folder there, whatever yours happens to say. It's usually your username and pictures folder. And the same goes with he, with this as well. Start, stop. I like to change this, actually. I like to have that page up. Oh, one of the things I liked about this that uh, Fraps does not have is it has a pause key. Cancel this page down and well let's do end and page down as pause all right so i think that's pretty much it start minimize minimize to tray i don't want it to start with windows so there you have it um check it out give it a try i'm gonna go give it a try right now actually and see how it works it's been a long time since i've used play claw and again like i said i really liked the audio out of play claw it was much cleaner it sounded much higher quality than what I'm getting right now out of Fraps. Not sure why, but that's the case. Well, hey, give it a shot. It's free for the day. Let's bring that website back up. And oh, I want to give a shout out to my uh, friend here, Welsh Pixie, on Twitter. She's the one that uh, had found this and tweeted it, and that's how I found out about it. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, then head on over to my Twitter which is Paul Soares Jr., just like my YouTube name. This is where I, uh, I'm on here all day, pretty much. This is 
I use this a lot more for notifications than I do, say, YouTube, for example. And if you want to find out what's going on with me, then you should follow me on Twitter. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. Head on over there and grab it. And good luck and have fun. Bye-bye.